What's going on everyone on the sports back with another video in this video I'm going to be talking about the Toronto Raptors newest signing that is Juancho Hernan Gomez Bo Cruz as Adrian Wojnarowski at about 12:15 Eastern time came out with a tweet and said free agent forward Juan Hernan Gomez is finalizing a one-year deal with the Toronto Raptors sources tell ESPN Hernan Gomez is 26 years of age he spent uh, last season with three different teams in 40 total games with Boston, San Antonio, and Utah, he averaged three and a half points in 11 minutes per game. So we didn't get a lot of time out there on the court, um, but when he did, he showed a little bit of flashes. He's a lengthy guy. Um, he could make some sense for the Raptors. It's definitely a low, low, low risk signing um, with you know some some good reward in that. Um, he's been in the league for a total of um, you know he's been around for a few years. Um, really around the NBA. He's played just under 300 games. He started 66 of them. He's averaged just 15 minutes a game um, in those, um, you know, in those games. He averaged over five and a half points. So um, on a career basis, he's done a pretty decent job when he's gotten some playing time. He's played for some good teams, some contenders with Denver, Utah, uh, Boston. Um, you know, Minnesota's not a bad team either. So he's played with some pretty good teams. He's played with some good talent. And he's had to fight through a lot of talent and, and you know, really earn his minutes. Um, he's 6'9", 215. And I think that's the most important thing and reason why the Raptors signed him. He's that long, lengthy um, guy that the Raptors really look for. He's that guy that, you know, the Raptors... You know, he fits the Raptors perfectly. He fits Otto Porter type player, um, Siakam type player, Scotty Barnes, Barnes with the long length, good effort, um, hard nosed defensive guy. That's really what he is, and that's what he's going to bring here to the Raptors. And it's going to be really exciting to see how the Raptors use him if they really get him some time. I would imagine they play him, you know, right around that 10 minutes per, per night, um, you know, mark. I think that would make some sense. Um, he's obviously not going to be a starter. He's not going to be a guy that we really rely on off the bench, but there's some, you know, there's some reward here in the signing. He's going to play in preseason, and if he really impresses, then he'll get some time in the regular season. So we're looking forward, you know, as a fan base to see what he's able to do um, here with the Raptors. Um, last year, he was efficient too, which is the most important part. If a guy averages three, you know, and a half points per game, but is efficient on it, then it's all right. But if he's you know, 20% shooter, then it's obviously an issue. But that's not the case with him. He plays hard defense, and he fits the Raptors really, really nicely. Um, so it's going to be uh, exciting to see how the Raptors use him and what they decide to do, um, you know, when the season starts. We don't know the figures of the signing. We just know that's a one-year deal. It's probably going to be close to the league minimum, so it obviously makes sense. Masai is looking for, you know, cheap deals and guys that have upside and guys that could come in here and maybe impress and, you know, turn into something. That's really all the signing is. He's shown flashes in the NBA. He was a lottery pick for a reason at 15th overall in 2016 from the Denver Nuggets, and that's not a bad team. They, you know, they, they could scout their players. They know a thing or two about basketball. So they obviously see something in him, and you obviously know why Masai sees something in him. Um, looking at, you know, the most important, I think, piece of his career and, and um, you know, part of his career was in the 14 games he played in Minnesota in 19 and 20, where he started all 14 games. He averaged 29 minutes a night, um, and he averaged 13 points a game. That's a, you know, that's pretty efficient right there. Those are some good numbers. 42% from downtown, 46% from the field. For 6'9", you know, 215 power forward, if he could shoot the ball, 42% from downtown, there's really nothing wrong with that. Um, along with the 13 points, he had 7.5 rebounds. So he's really, like I said, he's going to bring it um, every night. He's going to bring, you know, high intensity he averages steal a game and ha just under half block a game in those 14 games. It's a small sample size, but you know that's the type of player he is. Um, he had his best years with Minnesota. The following year after that, he played in 52 games. He just started six of them, um, 17 minutes a night, over seven points per game, and four rebounds a game. So, like I said, he shows flashes. He's got you know that length that the Raptors look for is a rewarding player and hopefully ends up panning out with the Raptors. He'll play in preseason and hopefully impresses uh, the Raptors and what they want to do. We'll see what ends up happening, but guys, that's all I got in this video. You guys let me know down below in the comment section, your thoughts on the Raptors signing Juan Hernan Gomez, Bo Cruz to this one year cheap deal. Um, I like the move. We'll see what it ends up being. I'm really excited to see what happens. 
Um, and you guys let me know all that good stuff down below in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys on the next video. Let's go Raptors.